So um, I just realised that I left a little bit of Hector behind, so I've taken that other bit out. And Hector's from the back looks a bit better. And I also pushed the tail down a little bit further, made it a bit longer. But other than that, the heart works exactly the same. Now, let me run this. There goes Hector back there. And Hector will just keep going until he disappears. So we've sort of got to exercise a bit more control. We'll start looking about left and right in a minute. But let's just say we want Hector to go to about maybe there somewhere and come down to about here. So we're going to add a little bit of extra control. But what that means is this. With the down arrow, Hector's coming at us and we don't want Hector to go any further than... Um, if you look at what this thing does, is if you leave that there and start moving it, like so, you I just refreshed it, and it's now minus 55. So this thing adjusts itself. Now if I go a bit further up here like this, and go, bonk, and drag it out here, like that, okay, we've got minus 40, but we did have minus 30 to start with, so let's just see where we finish up there. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, minus 30 will do. So our starting position is minus 30. So we don't want him to go, to go any further than the minus 30. And when he comes down to the front, Probably don't want him to go any further than, say, minus 100. So let's confine it to minus 30 and 100. So how we do that is this. We're going to put another if statement around the outside, and that if statement is going to say if. And it's a negative number. It's getting bigger. So what you're testing is if the value of the x position, y position, I beg your pardon, if the value of the x position, y position is greater than minus 100, then let's do it. So, let's just check to see what's going on here. It stops, okay? And for the other side, we want to look at putting this all around the outside, and if the up arrow then the y position going to be less than. So in here the y position will be less than, let's try negative 30 and see what we've got. So we'll run it again. As far as Hector wants to go. So we've got some control over Hector. That's as far as Hector goes up and down. Now we're going to do something similar for right and left. To do right and left, we need a right looking costume. So down here, I'm going to call that right one. And right one is going to have a strange looking bit of artwork here. Um, but no, to the oh, wait on, let's just push that across a bit, push this across. This is really rapid, this. Um, eyeball, nose, eye, ear. This one can go, so can that. The tail, extended, whoops, extended, like so. Turned around a bit, pushed up. Pretty ordinary looking dog, but we've sort of got that happening, and yeah, you can probably make a best better looking dog, but anyway, we'll run with that. So that's right one, this is right two, um, right two, maybe foot down, foot up, ear moving, maybe just a tad, bit of a tail dropping or wagging or something. Like this. So, uh, just to give the impression that it's moving. So there's right one, right two. And then if we duplicate this little one, this one becomes left one, uh, left one. So, 
F1 and F1 facing the other way and this one which we duplicate becomes left two. So we have got what we want, left one and left two. Yep, we flipped the wrong one there, that's better. Let's go back here. There we're right. So two lefts, two rights. Script, duplicate. Let's go right. Right arrow. How far across do you want the dog to walk? Well, now, so it's get a bit tricky this one. So what we'll do is we'll just stick with the old moving around there like that and then we'll have a look at how to make it. Yeah, it gets pretty interesting when you start talking about perspective. So we'll sort of say, oh, um, X, maybe 150, so 150 to 150, something like that. So if X position for the right arrow is the opposite, okay? So when we go on right, we want to actually be less than. That's where life gets a bit interesting. So it's sort of the, you've got to think opposite, kind of, and it's X position is less than, say, 150. And if the costume number is number five, number five, and go to right two. Otherwise, go to right one. Now, let's just move down here a bit. We don't want to change the size, um, position of X, and we don't want to change the size. What we want to do is we want to change X by maybe five. So let's test it. So then, 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 right, 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 right. Yep, it's no left yet, but it's working. So our left is going to be duplicate this, put it over there. It becomes left arrow. Our p position becomes greater than a greater than negative number. So is x position greater than negative one fifty? Like so, and if the costume happens to be number seven, seven, then we want to go to eight or seven. So back here, we want left two, left one, and change the x by a negative so it moves to the left. Right, get rid of this. Let's run it. And then, 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 left, 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 right, 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 right left. No, we didn't do any, we didn't do much with our two left costumes, so if we um, just put this one up a bit, put this one down, oh, yeah, tail wagging slightly, like so, flapping ear, doing its thing, like that. Now let's see what we've got. Left, 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 stops. Yeah. Okay. So we've got him moving.